Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about something important. As you know on this channel, I've already started talking about um Valentine's Day. Okay, here it is. On Valentine's Day, the Fifty Shades of Grey film was meant to come out, but they changed the date to the 13th. Friday the 13th, release a film? What's this? This is weird, unlucky. Oh well, shit happens. I was online and I was reading up on the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. Some people are starting to complain, saying, oh, it promotes violence and all these wrongdoings in the bedroom. And then there's other people saying, oh, women, cinema, gonna be putting down some plastic sheets. That's the weird thing about sex and film adaptations. It's like, you can take a book and make it into a film. But no one's gonna say, oh, you see this? I wrote fan fiction. No one makes fan fiction to a real thing because that's technically porn too. Why don't you just take the fan fiction that people write and go, oh, this fan fiction is really good. I'm liking it. We're gonna turn this into a film and we're gonna make some money. With Fifty Shades of Grey coming out, more people who are 18 and over are going to see it. They're gonna probably replicate it. But that's the thing, it's weird in a sense way, I, I, I don't know. With sex, there's two ways you can look at it. You can, while you're watching porn, you're thinking, wow, oh, that, uh, how, how are they doing that? That's, that's, that's weird. I, I'm gonna try that, because it looks, the girl seems to enjoy it. Or you could feel it in the villa thinking, whoa. That's weird. I'm not trying that. Not good. Just wow. I'm gonna stop watching that. That's weird. No done. Between real life sex with someone, the one thing you sort of want to do is not use it for pleasure. I mean, yes, it is pleasurable to share the sexual experience with someone, but the one thing sex also should do is create a bond and a, it just, you have to trust someone enough to see your naked body and to just beg, hey, I trust you and I don't want you to break that trust by doing some weird ass shit to my vagina, penis or bummer. But if you do, consult your partner before trying any weird sexual things. The majority of people in porn get paid to enjoy themselves. Maybe they do like sex, maybe there's genuine reactions as they're having sex but we never know because they get paid to do things that they thought they'd never do and then they do it and it's like prostitution in a weird sense What? Let's focus on one thing Fifty Shades of Grey started as Twilight fan fiction. So what I was saying before if you can make Twilight fan fiction into a book and into a trilogy, why not can you take any fan fiction that's out there on the internet, change the change the words, change the characters' names, make that into a film or a book, and then release it? Uh, just, just saying, just put me out. Not the hard to write book, and then you probably can do it. You just you take the time and effort, find what you want to write about, stick to the subject stick to the characters, the story, and stuff like that, and just... Ah! Sex has many different things. There's fetishes, there's, uh, you know, stuff you can use for sex, like accessories. It's just one of the things, you look at it and you think, I'm not too sure that it's meant to go, no, okay, that, that, that goes there. Right, uh, that, mm? is that meant to do that? Ooh, jeez, mm. And no. To be honest with you, if you do what you do while you're having sex, enjoy it. But always have a safety word. Because things can get quite, quite bad if uh, you don't stop. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was quite a strange topic for me to talk about, but. 
I cover things that uh, you need to know and I'll see you in the next video. I'm just gonna just go. Remember guys, see you later and stay awesome.